Hi everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now, in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1, Question 27. Now, Question 27, the use of the data booklet is relevant to this question. In the electrolysis of molten aluminum oxide, 0.27 gram of aluminum is liberated when 2904 coulombs of electricity is passed through molten aluminum oxide. So which value of Avogadro's constant do these figures give? So we have four options and we want to solve for your Avogadro constant. Now the topic tested in this exercise is under electrochemistry, which is pretty obvious because we talk about electrolysis of molten aluminum oxide. So let us just recap involving the equations that we will find useful when we do calculation questions for electrochemistry. We have three of them. We call them the Faraday's equation. Equation number one is Q equals to IT, your charge equals to current times time. Second equation is Q equals to number of mole of electron times Faraday's constant, your charge equals to mole of electron multiplied by your Faraday's constant. Faraday's constant is actually inside the table of constants in the data booklet. It represents the charge of one mole of electron. The final equation F equals to E times L. F is my Faraday's constant, E is the charge of one electron, and L will be my Avogadro constant. So F, E, and L, all these terms can be found in the data booklet. So let us try to answer this question. The first thing we do is we find the number of moles of aluminum involved in the process, which is pretty simple. The mass of aluminum is given 0.27. I divide this by the atomic mass for aluminum. The value will be 0.01. So for this electrolysis, the number of mole of aluminum discharge will be 0.01. The next thing we want to do is we want to determine the number of moles of electrons involved in this reduction. So the discharge or the reduction at the cathode is Al3 plus gain 3 electrons to give me Al. A compare mole ratio between electron to aluminum is 3 electron to 1 aluminum. So the number of mole of electron will be 3 times the number of mole of aluminum, which is 0 0.03. 0 0.01 times 3, eh, which is 0 0.03. Now once we have the number of mole of electron, then we can link this to my Faraday's equation, and I can try to work out the value for F. So I use the equation Q equals to number of mole of electron multiplied by Faraday's constant. Quantity of charge is already given, 2904. Number of mole of electron, we have calculated 0.03. So we can actually calculate the value for F. F in this case would be 2904 divided by 0.03, which is 96800 coulomb per mole. Now remember, we have to solve for your Faraday's constant, and we're not supposed to use the Faraday's constant inside the data booklet. So based on the calculation, this is the value involving Faraday's constant that we are getting, 96800 coulomb per mole. Now finally, we can use the third Faraday's equation, charge of one mole of electron, my Faraday's constant is the charge of one electron multiplied by Avogadro constant. So Avogadro constant L will just be F divided by E. F we are using 96800 based on what we've calculated. Charge of one electron, we can actually get this from the data booklet, which is 1.60 times 10 to the power of minus 19. The value that we will get is 6.05 times 10 to the power of 23, which is a pretty close value. Actual value involving Avogadro constant is supposed to be 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So this value that we are getting is actually pretty close. If I run through the options A, B, C, D, the answer to this question, of course, would be option B. All right, so that was the discussion involving this question. Now, if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.